how did we get this project started? What, what, um, what went into the ideas that generated the proposal that generated um, this project getting under full sail? And that really began with the community here. I was reasonably new to this job and I was listening to people and meeting the mayor and meeting city officials and being out on the water with different people who have lived here most of their adult life and um, I was hearing a lot of feedback about changes from land level changes, glacier recession, isostatic rebound. The mayor was all over this topic because it had been in the news quite a lot in um, southeast Alaska. and. But also friends who had been on the bay a long time, they're saying, hey, you know, we've been noticing at low, low tides, we're seeing more bottom. What is going to happen if we have more of the lands come up or if we have the ocean rises? What's that going to happen to the critters today, the salmon, the shrimp, the crab, and all that? We've already seen a major change in, in Catch Mac Bay. I really thought about how to do this in a way that met um, the community's information needs. How do we do it also in a way that lives beyond the project, that we set up a skeleton or an infrastructure for monitoring. Um, land and sea level change over time in a more low tech but um, within the NERS protocol way and it was a pretty exciting way to tie in our education research CTP programs all together in one project. We hadn't had the muscle, we hadn't the funding to do that before. So that was really exciting to me. On the, on the council we began to get reports from locals around the bay, like up by the Fox River at the head, which is at the head of the bay here, that islands were starting to appear, and in other words, the land was coming back up. And so I became interested in that. People here depend on, you know, depend on coastal resources. I mean, I know it's a, you know, it's a phrase we use a lot, but we live in a community that depends on this bay and the adjacent ocean. And so, and decision makers know that. You know, this is a fishing community, this is a marine science community. You know, this, this is a community that really depends on those resources. So there's some real public policy questions here and, and science can certainly contribute to the decisions we make. You know, science helps us to understand, you know, just as, as far as maintenance of the spit, the care and feeding of the Homer spit uh, kind of helps us with that. So ultimately what we want to hear <laughs> is that this will help inform their decision making and planning, specifically like the harbor in um, how they plan for infrastructure in the harbor and dredging. Um, it, this process has helped us identify other information that will help complement the data from this project so that we can get more real application to daily decision making.